In many places, when we do self-registration to a Wi-Fi capture portal or through email or SMS, the users are often given a randomly generated password, which is really hard to remember. This video, we're going to show how we can allow users to define their own password, something that can remember easily at the point of registration. I'm going to start off with the SMS registration login option first. So under the login method, you would define using SMS registration, and you have to define your SMS gateway setting here. And under the general, under the user info, you define what are the info you want to capture about the user. Basically, this is what the user have to enter at the point of registration, and those info will be saved in the database. So the key catch here is the registration setting, the password definition. You can, by default, it is randomly generated. In this case, we're going to use self-defined. That means user-defined password, and you save the change, and we're ready to test. My phone is already connected to the testing SSID. I'm just going to start browsing, and you'll be asked to log in. So the first time the user doesn't have a login info, you have to click on sign up. And you just put in whatever the registration details that you have enabled under the portal setting. And the email is something optional. And the mobile number has to be absolutely correct because the system will send an activation code to this to this mobile number. So here, the password field is the password that you're going to use to log into the portal next time after the registration is successful here. So this is the password that is something easy and something that user can remember. So the gender, and I'm just going to click and submit. So the SMS will be sent to the mobile number. Once you receive the activation code, I'm just going to enter here. And you click on Submit, so the registration will be successful. So this is a very effective way to make sure the mobile number you enter here is a valid mobile number. So we verify your mobile numbers for the activation code, because if you put a fake mobile number here, you will not be able to receive the activation code, and the registration will not be successful. So now you go to the user management. You will, you will see the user is been added here with the mobile number being the username and the password that is defined by the user at the point of registration, and you go to the user info, those are the details you capture at the registration. And the next time, I'm just gonna show, when the next time when the user come back here, you can check the connection setting now, it's unlimited because they're already fully logged in. And the next time when the user come back again, so let's say it's right, start to browse, and I would just put in my mobile number, and the password that I defined at the registration and log in successfully. So this password is really something that you define the registration and something that is very easy for the user to remember. So that's how it works for SMS registration. So I'm just going to switch on to email registration. And so I'm just going to save the setting and I'm ready to test again. So for Simplicity, I'm just going to delete the previous registration details. And the user will have to log out as well. And so now I'm just going to log in again as a new user. And now I'm, I'm asked to log in using email and the password. I'm just going to do a sign up and put in the registration details required by the administrator. So this time, we're going to validate the email address. So the email has to be correct, because a validation will be sent to the email. And if you put a fake email here, you will not be able to receive the validation link. So again, the password is something that user will define, something that they can remember. And the mobile number is optional here, because we are not going to validate the mobile number. And the gender is also optional, so you submit. Then at the point of submission, the user will be given 10 minutes free access for them to check the email. We can check email to click on the validation link on our email address. So, so validation is successful. Then the user will get long-term access. So if you go back to the user management, a new user is added with the username being the email address and the user info that has been captured during the registration and the password is something that the user defined. So I'm just going to check when the next time when the user come back, disconnect the user. And let's say when you start to browse, you'll be asked to log in. And I'll just put my email address and the password that I defined during the registration.
and login.